morning. We're ready to start math. All right. Now, uh, I want you to look in your book on page 27. There's just a story I'm going to read. Every time we start a new section, there's a story I'm going to read. Remember the kids that we had talked about in our math book, Charlie and Charlotte? Remember them? We're going to continue to talk about them, and they're going to help us through our math, okay? So if you look on page 27, there's a picture of some yummy-looking pancakes and bacon. I wish I had some of those. And there's a little girl, I guess that's Charlotte, and she's sweeping. Okay, now I want you to pay attention and listen about Charlie and Charlotte and see what they're learning this week, okay? Because it's the same thing you're going to learn. Excitement poured out of Charlie and Charlotte as they rushed through their morning chores. Even Anne and Andy seemed more chipper and skipped about inside their pen merrily. Pokey, usually with his head buried in a shell, came out to welcome the twins on this fabulous day, their first day of homeschool. Mom served them a delicious breakfast of chocolate chip pancakes, sizzling bacon, and freshly squeezed orange juice. Their prayer and devotional time was especially exciting as Dad shared with the twins about the orphanage in South America. Mom and Dad had worked there during the summer to help out after a devastating flood. Dad explained that South America was the continent just south of North America, which is the continent where they lived. Their missionary project for the school year was going to be praying for each orphan at the home and sending them money to help keep the orphanage running. Mom shared with them that an orphan is a child who has no mother or father. The twins couldn't even imagine how sad they would be without their parents. Dad continued on and told the children that they could choose a boy and girl around their own age to specifically pray for all year and to send letters, cards, and gifts to. With eyes full of excitement, the twins felt as if they were adding two more siblings to their family. After devotions and Bible time, Mom met the, met the children in the schoolroom to begin their first official day of school. Mom began by explaining that this was the month of September, and it was Tuesday. Charlie and Charlotte remembered Grandma teaching them the Days of the Week song to the tune of Row, Row, Row Your Boat while hanging out laundry, and now they began to sing it for Mom. I don't know how it goes, but I'm going to sing it. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. These are the days that make up a week. Mom smiled and exclaimed, that was beautiful. And now we'll continue this morning's lessons by designing new flashcards for practicing our addition facts. The children hurriedly ran to get index cards, markers, and scissors. Mom reminded them of the plus sign which stands for plus, and the equal sign, which means equal. Charlotte eagerly read the first fact. One plus one equals two. Next, she wrote it both horizontally and vertically on her flashcard. Very nicely done, Charlotte, encouraged Mom. The children continued working on their flashcards for one half hour until Mom called to tell them that it was time for a nature walk. They quickly cleaned up and put away all their belongings and joined mom outside with nature journals and pencils in hand. Very good, all right. So they're working on the calendar and they're working on flashcards with using the plus sign and the equal sign and that is what we're gonna be learning about this week, okay? So you should have some, um, hmm, well, you should have a calendar. It may be this one. I'm not sure if you still have this one. Remember this calendar that we had last week? Remember that? So, now, this story said they were in September, but we're actually in the month of October. So, your calendar says October, so you need to fill in the next date on there, okay? Whatever the date is, probably the 21st. So, the next would be Monday, October the 21st. That's what today is, okay? If you're not sure, you can ask your mom to show you which day you should put on there, okay? And the 21st is a two and a one, all right? All right, the other thing you need to do is you need to have, and I don't have any beside me to show you, but you should have some index cards. If you don't know what those are, would you ask your mom? I think she said that she has some index cards for you, okay? Okay, so if you'll go ahead and go get those, I'm gonna change the screen over and help you with your page. 
All right, here's our page we're going to work on today. Can you get it out? It's page 29 in your math book. Can you get that out for me? All right, now you should have some index cards. Okay, so it should be on the front, there's probably some lines, and on the back, there's probably no lines. Okay, so what I want you to do on the front of the card, I want you to write this real big. You can write with a, a marker or a pen. One plus four equals five. Okay, I want you to write that on the card just like you see it. Okay, then I want you to turn the card around and on the back, I want you to write it like this, up and down. I want you to, well, I want you to write one plus four, and then a line, which means equals, and then five goes under it, okay? So on the front of the card, it needs to be written long ways like this. That's called horizontally. On the back of the card, it needs to be written up and down vertically like that. Okay, can you do that? I want you to do that for this one and these two also. So you should end up having four cards. So I need you to go ahead and pause it as you go ahead and write these on your card. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna figure out what the answers to these are, okay? Now, this is two plus four. Now, if you have some buttons or beans or anything you can use, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you, let's put two beans or two, actually, let me change this to be a little thicker, okay? We're gonna say two, here's one, there's two, okay? And then we're gonna add, add that means to get more, four more. Now, how many does that equal in all? Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five, six. So two plus four is six, okay? Now over here, you can use, can, do you have some beans? Ask your mom if she's got some dry beans that you can use, okay? Do that real quick and then come back. Did you get some dry beans or something? Okay, it can be anything. Let's get five of those out. Put five on your desk. Did you put five of them out? Okay, now put five more below it. Can you count all of those and see how many you have? Did you get 10? That's what you should have gotten. Can you write that in there? All right, now your assignment is to finish these last three. And down here it says, can you think of more addition facts of your own? So if you could make up any more, maybe one plus, it can't be any of these, one plus three. How about, how about, let's make up one more. How about two plus two? Think you can do those? Maybe you can do a couple more. Okay, all right, now you finish this page today and that's all for today.